It's all in the data. That's our topic for today's Backstage Pass. Stocks and bonds are up so far today. Uh, mortgage rates opened a little bit better than where they closed on Friday. So, hey, happy Monday. Hope you had a great weekend. We'll talk more about the bond market and rates in just a minute. But first, let's talk about data. The, the markets are very, very data sensitive right now. And last week we saw jobs report that came in, that came in much higher, double than what was forecast. The, that had a negative impact on the bond market. There was also some manufacturing data that came in last week that was better than forecasted or higher than forecasted. And that had a negative impact on the bond market as well. And so we saw some volatility in the bond market last week. And, and ultimately we saw uh, you know, the rates, mortgage rates kind of worsen throughout the week last week. This week is going to be no different. The markets are very data sensitive, and this week we have a major data report coming out. It's the monthly CPI or Consumer Price Index report. And with the, with the previous uh, reports being uh, at expect, expectations are higher, and then last week we saw this um, data from the jobs market being much higher, you know, there's a lot of speculation on what this report is going to show. Is it going to be hotter than expected or cooler than expected? What's this data going to show? The markets will react to this CPI data this week, and uh, for better or for worse. Now, uh, besides the CPI data that could have an effect on the markets, mortgage bonds are trading in a very tight window of ceiling uh, and support. So that's a ceiling of resistance and a floor of support. And so there's not a ton of room for sideways tra trading. However, there is a fair amount of room on either side of the ceiling or the floor. And so uh, any break one way or the other, um, we could see a run in that direction. So the CPI data uh, will have an effect on the markets and uh, could, you know, could potentially uh, be a good thing for mortgage rates or be a bad thing for mortgage rates this week. We'll just have to wait and see what the data does and says whenever that comes in. All that said, mortgage bonds today are up about 27 basis points at the time of recording. The 10-year yield is down about six basis points. And uh, again, mortgage rates have opened up a little bit better than where they closed out on Friday. That 10-year yield went above the 100-day moving average on Friday, but came back down. So that proved to be a good kind of ceiling, technical ceiling of support, that 100-day moving average. Um, and so mortgage bonds are, again, about six basis points underneath that today. Um, so if, uh, if the bond market continues to improve throughout the day, there's still a little bit of room between uh, where we are right now and the ceiling of support on mortgage bonds. So we could see mortgage rates improve a little bit throughout the day. Uh, but again, not a ton of room for trading in, in, in between the technical levels. Uh, so we don't expect to see a ton of volatility today. All eyes are on that data that's coming out on Wednesday with the CPI. That's all the news that we have for today. I uh, hope you have a great Monday and a great week. We'll be watching for the CPI data and get that out to you as soon as it comes. But until then, take care and we'll see you tomorrow.